Pictograph alphabet ABC. Look at the alphabet A. It is shaped like an arch gate. Let's start alphabet A. Arch series. Look at the top of a mountain. Someone thinks it's very high. And someone thinks it's very white. Because, at the top of a high mountain, permanent snow there is. But there are some people think that it is shaped like an arch. That is, the mountain is a very high, sharp, white, arched, snow-capped mountain. Voca route number 4. Latin root arcus means bow, arch, or vault. Hereunder we will study various words containing Latin root arcus. Arc. Arch. Arcade. Archery. Archer. Arcane. Archive. Arcana. Arc. Look at the fat alphabet A. It looks like an arch formed porch. Look at the high snow capped mountain. Its top has a arched form. It looks like an round headed alphabet A. From now, let's start a journey of building your vocabulary. <coughs> vocabulary number four Archery. Etymology Archery. Archery is derived from Latin arcus, meaning bow, arch, or vault. There are many related words having this root, such as arc arch, arcade, architecture, etc. Definition. Archery means shooting with a bow and arrows, especially at a target as a sport. Archery is the sport, practice, or skill of using a bow to shoot arrows. The word comes from the Latin arcus, meaning bow. Historically, archery has been used for hunting and combat. In modern times, it is mainly a competitive sport and recreational activity. A person who practices archery is typically called an archer, bowman, or toxophilite. In order for archers to practice archery, they need to have a bow and arrows. Do you know why the archery is so called? Because the frame of a bow is arched, which makes it a sufficient elasticity to shoot an arrow. In addition, a bow is so named because it is bent in the shape of an arch. Linguistically, a phoneme bog, buck, bow, bow, brow means arched, curved, or bent like an arc of a circle. You can see it in words, such as bow, crossbow, rainbow, elbow, bowl, bowling, eyebrow, bog, embossing, etc. A bow is a weapon used to shoot arrows. It is used in hunting, sport, and a long time ago, war. Using a bow is called archery. A person who uses a bow is an archer and a person who makes bows is a bowyer. Every country has a history of archery at war. Did you hear about Amazon warriors? They are all female warriors. A legend says that they cut their right breast to ease archery because it touches a bowstring when shooting an arrow. Look at the pictures of Amazon warriors. You can't find their right breast. Literally, Amazon means without bosom breastless, composed of Latin prefix a, meaning, without, and Latin mazos, mastos meaning, breast. In Korea, people love practicing archery. Even women love to shoot an arrow for exercising or taking pleasure. Look at the pictures of Korean women. They enjoy shooting an arrow. Looking at paintings drawn by Hongdu Kim and Yunbok Shin, you can guess how much Korean people love to practicing archery. Look at the right picture. It was drawn by Hongdu Kim, one of the great artists in Joseon Dynasty. There are four persons in the picture. 
One is teaching, and one is learning archery. Another is hanging a bowstring at the notch of a bow frame. The other is maintaining arrows. Look at the left picture. It was drawn by Yunbog Sin, another of the great artists in Joseon dynasty. There are four persons in the picture. One is man and three persons are women. The man, a nobleman. Yangban in Korean, is carrying a bow and arrow, glancing at the three women at a stream. One woman is washing clothes, another woman is washing and combing her long black hair. And the other woman is spreading a sheet, with her blouse taken off, exposing her bare breast. When it comes to a bow and archery in Korea, it is traced back to before Koguryo dynasty. They are very good at shooting an arrow with a longbow. At that times, Koreans were called Dong Yi by China. It means peoples who live in the east of China and are very good at shooting an arrow with a large bow. Literally, Korean Hanja, Yi, of Dong Yi means a longbow which is larger than an ordinary bow. Look at the left picture. It is an extracted scene from a movie Ansisung. The right picture shows an archer shooting a longbow. Even they love to shoot an arrow on horseback. You can see it from tomb mural paintings. Now, you can know why Korean archers have won the first prize at many international archery contests including the Olympic Games. A bow is a weapon used to shoot arrows. In addition to an ordinary bow, there are more powerful bows such as longbow, recurve bow, and crossbow. A longbow is a hand-drawn wooden bow held vertically and used especially by medieval English archers. It is longer than an ordinary bow. A recurve bow is a bow with curved tips that create more force than a longbow. Compare a recurve bow and a longbow. You can find the difference easily. A crossbow is a ranged weapon, using an elastic launching device, consisting of a bow-like assembly called a prod, which is mounted crosswise on a main frame called a tiller. A crossbow is handheld in a similar fashion to the stock of a long firearm. Crossbows shoot arrow-like projectiles called bolts or quarrels. Let's call it a day. Next time, we will study vocabulary number 5. Arbalist. Stay focused on this channel. See you next time. Thank you. Dedication. Above all, my deep thanks go to my lord who gave me so powerful and courageous spirit, without which, I couldn't write even the first line of this book. And then, to my better half, Sun Kong, who encouraged me to do what I want to do and always smiled at me, though I didn't make her enjoy a happy life with a smile on her face. Finally, to my daughters, Jimin and Ji Hyun, who gave me support and sang a praise for me in unison, all the time. Copyright 2022 Kermijal.com, Hoyan Park. All rights reserved. No part of this book may be used or reproduced in any manner whatsoever without the written permission of the author. If you think this video is useful, please subscribe here. Thank you.